In XSI, the default keyboard layout lets us move the camera by holding down the S key. Using the left mouse button we can pan, the middle mouse button lets us zoom, and the right mouse button lets us orbit our camera around our scene. We also have to use the F12 key to maximize a view, and the F12 key again to restore our view. But what if you're coming from a software package such as 3 Studio Max or Maya, and your studio has switched over to a mixed pipeline and you're forced to use XSI? Well, it's not a problem. XSI has a very convenient option here under the file menu if we go to interaction model. And here we can switch our interaction model. So let's switch over to QWERTY tools and alt camera navigation. Once we do that, XSI is now using the keyboard layout of Maya. So what we can do now is use the alt key and use the left mouse button to orbit the camera, middle mouse button to pan, and the right mouse button to zoom in and out. We can also use the space bar instead to go ahead and maximize our view and hit spacebar again to restore our view just like in Maya. We can also do a few other things, for example the W key is now used for translating our object, the E key is now used for rotating, and the R key is now used for scaling. Then you can hit the Q key to get out of those tools. This is a very versatile way to quickly get into XSI using the keyboard layout that you're familiar with from Maya. But it gets even better. If we go here to File and go down to Keyboard Mapping, we can unlock an extra option. If we go here to this Key Map drop-down box, we'll see we have an extra option that wasn't available from the Interaction Model menu under the File menu. It's the 3DS Max Compatible Keyboard Layout. If you're coming from 3 Studio Max and not Maya, and you're more familiar with the 3D Max layout, you can go ahead and switch to it. That way you can quickly come in here and start using the same keyboard layout that you were using in 3D Studio Max. This will allow you to quickly get up and running with XSI and get you started on your projects much faster instead of learning a new keyboard layout. As one final note, however, I would like to let you know that it is recommended you use the XSI keyboard layout. The reason is that XSI is built around efficiency of hotkey mapping, and XSI's default hotkey map is the best fastest and most efficient way to work in XSI. So it is worth it to go ahead and learn the keyboard layout of the default XSI key mapping, which is going to allow you to work much better, faster, and more efficiently.